I had the potatoes and peppers. Um, those were the in the frozen aisle at Trader Joe's I showed you guys on the last haul. Then I just charred and roasted up some carrots with a little bit of olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper. And then I have my oven steak, which has garlic salt, onion powder, and seasoned pepper. This is my plate. Tony's having the same things, but she's having peas, which I don't care for that much. And this is what's for dinner. Hey y'all, and it's the birthdays girls official birthday today. I had a wife fail and forgot to get the creamer, so we will be having her breakfast in bed tomorrow. But I just got a sausage, egg biscuit. These are all, all of these containers are hash brown. We like hash brown. And what are these called? Chicken? Chicken minis. Chicken minis. Acquired taste. They're okay. But yeah. And my coffee. And tomato juice. And that's what's for breakfast. Hey y'all, so this is a snack I'm having. Some provolone cheese, hard salami, um, some crackers from Trader Joe's, and some pitted olives, just as a well, not midnight snack, but late night snack. Good morning, y'all. This is my breakfast today. Chewy oatmeal raisin. I'm going to not that candy, but I'm going to my stomach because I'm going to be my face. Hey, y'all. Back with breakfast. Uh, French toast and bacon. This is the worst bacon I've ever bought. It's called Heritage. If you ever see it at Kroger or Ralph's, don't buy it. It was nothing but fat. This is for me trimming it. And normally, even thin cut bacon, I'll put in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. This was five minutes because it was just all fat. So it's all bristly and yeah, not buying again. But birthday girl finally got her French toast. This is the brioche spread I got from Trader Joe's. I have only one because I'm not that big of a French toast fan. I'm more of a waffle person or pancakes. And I have eggs and she does not like eggs. So this is our birthday brunch because it's like almost 12 o'clock with our syrup and her happy beverage. My first course is the mozzarella sticks and marinara with a Sprite. I honestly, these are the only mozzarella sticks I've like ever really liked. Some people say the ones at Trader Joe's are pretty good. I'll try those, but these are bomb. And I got a cute date. So I got Asian thing and my all-time favorite desert heat. And Tony is a weirdo and like boneless weight. And these are her fries that I'm gonna steal. And the carrots and celery she won't eat. Hey y'all, I am back with I don't even know what to call this because it's like almost 12 o'clock at night. We had um a night game, a USC night game, me and my wife are season football ticket holders, so it was at 7.30, so we are just now getting back home, and I was starving, and didn't eat anything at the stadium, because the food to me is overpriced and gross, so didn't want anything there, didn't want any fast food, because we've been eating out a lot lately, so I decided to, I kind of honestly forgot about this salad. Um, in my refrigerator and it looks like it was wilting so I was like I might as well eat this tonight plus it won't make me <coughs> excuse me feel as guilty eating this late because I should not be but it is the slaw chicken crunchy salad and it has um, cilantro green onions lettuce and I believe this is cabbage and it came with the um, Wong tong noodles and white chicken and it is very good and has a peanut sauce if you like pad thai or things like that you would love the salad it's really really good so i'm gonna eat this and not feel as guilty because it's somewhat healthy and then go to bed i just wanted to share with you guys ladies and gentlemen it is about to go down i saw this on instagram because i follow she's a hater I followed Trader Joe's on IG and could not wait to purchase these, to taste these, to 
Tony is a hater. As you can see, the bag is not open, so how does she know that it's disgusting? It is disgusting, and it's my birthday. You give your own self birthday cake. Words of a true hater. Not acceptable. So this will be my snack before dinner. It's not the healthiest snack, but it's about to go down, and I will tell y'all how I love these, because I know I'm going to love these. Any last words, hater? Bad. Okay, y'all. So I wanted to show you up close. It's very sweet and has like the sparkles from birthday cake. It tastes like Captain Crunch to me. I loved Captain Crunch as a kid. Scraped up through my mouth, but Captain Crunch is good. These are good. I'm purchasing more. Great snack. Hey y'all, I am back with dinner. I have oven baked, well, oven baked fried pork chops. I don't like frying on the stove tops, it's too much grease, so baking them, a lot less grease. This is the nor, nor rice. I mixed two flavors, one is chicken, and chicken and something else, but I didn't wanna waste another pack. I got the wrong flavor by mistake. And then I just diced up some cherries, tomatoes, and Persian cucumbers. And on there is a little pepper and Trader Joe's 2100 Salute. And I marinated that in some salad dressing with some Italian. Um, and I seasoned the meat with paprika, garlic salt, seasoned salt, and Trader Joe's 21 season soup. So here's my plate. And here's Tony, because y'all know she don't like vegetables. And this is soon.